This is the fifth video on revision of A-level binomial expansion and covers questions that come up occasionally but not frequently. So a reminder that this is aimed at students doing A-level mathematics courses or equivalent and our intention is not to teach but rather to demonstrate how you might solve typical problems. But before we do that we do need to remind you of the key formula that we're going to use as you need to be clear on these before you start tackling the questions. The key formula then, so the general expansion for a binomial expansion is this one here, a plus b to the n is a to the n plus some coefficient, a to the n minus 1b plus another coefficient, a to the n minus 2b squared and so on. Now these coefficients are well known, f1n is given by n, f2n is given by n n minus 1 over 2, f3n is given by n n minus 1 n minus 2 over 6 and so on. And you can actually write down a generic expression, uh, I've put it here frn as n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial and you should note that there is this shorthand notation using brackets which means the same thing. Now what I'm saying is when you start a question on binomial expansions, is you should always have these formula clear in your head and I would recommend generally writing them down. Now for convenience, rather than writing down all these expressions here, you'll have seen in the previous few videos that we've said you can just substitute some of these expressions straight in and instead I might prefer to write down this one here where I've already put those coefficients into the expression. And that really depends upon whether you're doing just the first few terms or whether you're doing lots of terms, in which case you would need to be much clearer on these coefficients. First question then. Find the first four terms in the expansion of 1 plus x over 10 to the power 10, giving each term in its simplest form. And having done that, part b, use your expansion to estimate the value of 1.05 to the power 10, giving your answer to four decimal places. So as ever, Write down the key formula first, and we'll do that to answer part A. So here's part A, and there's your standard formula for a binomial expansion, which we won't dwell on because we've done it several times in the previous video. So we start by writing A plus B equals 1 plus X over 10 to match terms up. So I get A equals 1, B equals X over 10, and here N equals 10. So now what I'm going to do is take these three values and simply substitute them into this expression here. So what you're going to get is 1 plus x over 10 to the power 10 is going to be given as 1 plus 10 times x over 10 plus 10 times 9 over 2 into x over 10 squared plus 10 times 9 times 8 over 6 into x over 10 cubed. Now if I simplify this a bit you're going to end up with 1 plus x plus 45 over 100 x squared plus 120 over a thousand x cubed and I can simplify that a bit more and write 1 plus x plus 0.45 x squared plus 0.12 x cubed. So that's the first part. We've got the first four terms in our expansion. Now before I start part B I'm just going to remind you of what we've done on the previous slide so we don't lose that. So this is the expansion that we've come up with. So what does the question say? Use your expansion to estimate the value of 1.005 to the power 10 and I've said four decimal places. Whether it's five or not doesn't really matter. Now what this is expecting you to do is say okay I had 1 plus x over 10 to the power 10 and they've asked for 1 plus 0.005 to the power 10. So clearly this implies that what they want me to do is write x over 10 equals 
5. Because if I do that, then I can see what they're asking me for is identical to what I did for part A. And that's what they would normally be doing. So in this case, I'm going to end up with x equals 0 0.05, which is 1 over 20. So all I need to do now is substitute x equals 1 over 20 into my formula up here. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get 1 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.45 over 20 squared plus 0 0.12 over 20 cubed. And if you stick that into your calculator, you'll find you get 1.0511. Next question then. Find the first four terms in the expansion of 1 plus x over 4 to the power 8, giving each term in its simplest form. And when you've, once you've done that, use your expansion to estimate the value of 1.025 to the power 8, giving your answer to four decimal places. So again, we begin by writing down our standard formula and doing the easy part first. So here's our standard formula. And by now, you'll be familiar with the technique. I write down <coughs> a plus b equals 1 plus x over 4. So a equals 1, b equals x over 4, and n equals 8. I substitute these numbers into the formula. So I get 1 plus x over 4 to the power 8 is 1 plus 8 times x over 4 plus 8 times 7 over 2 into x over 4 squared plus 8 times 7 times 6 over 6 into x over 4 cubed. So now I can simplify these numbers a little bit. So you're going to get 1 plus 2x plus 28 over 16x squared plus 56 over 64 x cubed. And you can actually put these into decimals because they have a relatively simple form. So you have 1 plus 2x plus 1.75 x squared plus 0.875 x cubed. So that's the first part. I've done the first four terms in my expansion. So again, we just need to write that down here before we continue because the second part is undoubtedly going to use the expansion that we did in the first part. And perhaps I should write down what that represented. That was 1 plus x over 4 to the power 8 equals. Now, look at the question. Use your expansion to estimate the value of, and what have they given? 1.025 to the power 8. So what they're encouraging us to do is look at 1 plus x over 4 to the power 8 is going to be equivalent to 1 plus 0 0.025 to the power 8. So you can see I've written down what they've given us and I've matched it up with what we had in part A. And clearly in order to do this it gives me x over 4 equals 0 0.025 or equivalently, x equals 0.1. So all I need to do now is substitute x equals 0.1 into my formula, which I got in part A. So if I do that, I get 1.025 to the power 8, approximately, because obviously we've truncated this expansion. So approximately given by 1 plus 0.2 plus 0 0.0175 and then the last term is going to be quite a pain but anyway plus 0 0.000875 and if you add all those together you get 1.2184 in terms of the number of decimal places we've been asked to use. Question three then. In the binomial expansion of 2 minus 5x to the power 20, find an expression for the coefficient of x to the 5. Now you'll notice here 
that the question has asked for an x to the 5 and we've got a very large value of n. As before then, we need to write down the key formula, but because I've got a large n and because I want just the coefficient of x to the 5, rather than having my general expression, which I've written down here so we know what's going on, there's my general expression, you can see what I actually need is this term here. I need to know the coefficient of the rth term. Now in particular, because this question has asked for the fifth term, what we've got is r equals 5 and n equals 20, so we need f 5 comma 20 times a to the 20 minus 5 b to the 5. So this is the term that the question is asking us to investigate because that's the term that's going to have the x to the 5 in it. Now if we do our standard trick a plus b equals 2 minus 5x so a equals 2 and b equals minus 5x then what we've got is f 5 20 times a to the 20 minus 5 times b to the 5 is going to be we'll have 20 factorial over 5 factorial 15 factorial and then we've got a to the 20 minus 5 so that's a to the 15 so we're going to have 2 to the power 15 and then we've got b to the 5 so we're going to have minus 5x to the power 5. Now you'll notice the question says find an expression for the coefficient. It doesn't say put it in your calculator and do all the decimal places. So what I'm going to look at is what this reduces to. So the key um, thing that I'm going to end up with is going to be 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16. So that's the 20 factorial divided by 15 factorial. And then I've got 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 that's the 5 factorial. I'm going to have a 2 to the 15. I'm going to have a 5 to the 5 and then I'll have an x to the 5 and because of the minus I get a minus out the front. So there's the expression that I'm looking for. So it does look a bit messy but the key thing that this question is testing is your familiarity first with this formula here and then with the fact that that formula comes in combination with an a to the 15 and a b to the 5. Question 4 then. You're given that this bracket thing is 40 over 4 equals 40 factorial over 4 factorial b factorial. What is b? And that's simply testing, do you understand what this notation means? And then secondly, in the binomial expansion of 1 plus x to the 40, the coefficients of x to the 4 and x to the 5 are p and q. Find the value of p and q. And again, you'll see we've got a very large n, and we've got an x to the 4 and x to the 5. So it's asking, do you know the general expression for these coefficients? So we'll start with the easy bit. First of all, find b given that. Well, <laughs> what you should know is this expression 40 over 4 means 40 factorial over 40 minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial. Therefore, clearly b equals 36. So that's a one mark question. It's simply testing your knowledge. OK, so the next bit, in the binomial expansion, find the coefficients of x to the 4 and x to the 5. So this is saying, all right, we know that the general expression for coefficients is given by this term here, this frn. Obviously, multiplied by the relevant a to the power n and b to the power n or whatever. So what we're going to do is say, how do I work out the coefficient of x to the 4 and x to the 5? Now, if I write 1 plus x equals a plus b, you'll notice that a equals 1 and b equals x. Now that has the advantage that a to the n becomes 1, 
a to the n minus 1 becomes 1, a to the n minus 2 becomes 1, a to the n minus 3 becomes 1, and so on. So you just get left with these b terms. And also, that b becomes x, the b squared becomes x squared, the b cubed becomes x cubed, and so on. And therefore, all we're actually looking at is these coefficients. So the coefficients are actually given by these f terms. There's nothing else in there for this particular example. So f for a coefficient for the fourth term is f for 40, which is 40 factorial divided by 36 factorial times 4 factorial. And the coefficient for f to the 5 is f 5 40, which is 40 factorial divided by 35 factorial times 5 factorial. Now, if you expand these out, you'll find 40 factorial over 36 factorial is 40 times 39 times 38 times 37 over 4 times 3 times 2. And similarly, 40 factorial over 35 factorial, 5 factorial, is 40 times 39 times 38 times 37 times 36, all divided by 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. Now, the key thing is, if you look at these two terms, you'll find they've got lots of bits in common. This bit in F440 is in common with this bit in F540. And this bit in F440 is in common with this bit in F540. So hopefully, pretty much by inspection, you can write down that F540 divided by F440 is going to be 36 over 5, which is, in simple terms, these two bits which don't cancel. And that gives you if you want to put it in your calculator, 7.2. So you'll see this question is really just testing, do you know this formula here? That's all it's testing. Do you know this formula here, and can you plug it in? And that's the end of these questions.